my name is Peyton Hinton for COM 205. This is my presentation two on USP. Unique selling proposition is USP. This means that brands want consumers to remember brands from one or two attributes, elements, trait, or feature of the product from that brand. A relevant USP example in today's society is Playtex tampons, the sport kind. Playtex has pads, liners, tampons, and the sport line. In every ad, they focus on women athletes being able to do anything while on their period using sport Playtex tampons because of the flexibility. The company wants the consumers to think of their sport line when they have a game or activity while on their period. When people think sport tampon, they will always think Playtex because of the sex successful USP technique. USP is very effective for a brand. Advertising focuses a lot on strategy and the time aspect. The time of the ad is crucial for brands. Time is money. And not the consumer's idea or perspective from the ad which contains the product from a certain brand. Said in text, O'Quinn, they say many brands claim their USP to be the price. And when you have a USP like price 4 for 4 for Wendy's, it's brilliant because of the 15 to 20 second ad is cheap and will be straight to the point so the consumers know the purpose and the product just by the USP 4 for 4. For example, like dating apps, you swipe or scroll through profiles no matter what app. Tinder runs all the dating apps. The USP was claimed as swipe right no matter what app you use or on, you swipe right. And now that you know when you're swiping right or you hear swipe right, you will forever think of Tinder, the dating app. This is a very effective example of USP working successfully.